All right, so there's no real beauty in being discovered dead. So let's get started. Step one is we're going to take off all of the lipstick. This was just a little lip gloss I got at Sephora that I probably paid way too much for, but we're going to ignore that fact. And once that's gone, we're going to go on to step number two, eventually. We're going to leave the eyes where they are because that's going to come into play later. So we're going to take the Maybelline foundation in the lightest color they had and we're going to cover our entire face. This is not a look needed for like color corrector because we're not going for beauty people. Alright, so I'm going to cover every inch of my face and neck with foundation. Yes, I know I have like basically a turkey waddle on my neck. Get over it. We're going to cover the lips because that's going to come into play later as well. We're going to use this as a primer for the lips. So, <laughs> I'm just going to cover it all. And at this point, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. So you see this dark mark on my neck? That is fine where it is. We're going to leave it alone and cover everything else with foundation. We're going to leave that there as a basis for where to put the um, bruising for the rope. And the reason that's there is not for cosmetic reasoning, but because it's a part of a skin disorder I have with insulin resistance. And if I have too much carb or sugar, my neck flares up. So you can tell this day I actually had a sandwich. So we're going to blend a little bit more, cover the nose, and once I think it's good, we'll put that down and go to the next step. Now we're going to go on to powder. We're not going to be baking today. This is just going to be more of a loose powder to set everything in. And we want to go with very pale because obviously we are dead. Oxygen has stopped going to our brain and there's no blood to our face. So yeah. On to lips. I'm going to start off with a basic lip gloss that I bought at Sephora. This is a very sheer and pink color. It's very cute. I wear it a lot, so I feel like it kind of pays for itself in that regard, because it was expensive. So here I'm just going to use this as a sticky layer just to um, apply the next step of color, which you will see momentarily. We're going to use an eyeshadow palette that I've had for a long time, and use the two purples near the bottom. We're going to start with the lighter of the two colors, and this is going to go on as a mattifying base for the lips, because once a person loses oxygen to the face, the first thing to go is lip color. So I just want to pale out my lips and make them purple, because that's what happens once, um, once you lose oxygen, you kind of go cyanotic, and it starts in the lips, then the fingers. But we're not going to mess the fingers today. So here I'm just going to go in with the next color now, which is the more indigo violet of the two. And that is going to go right on top of the lighter purple. And this is going to make us look a little more dead. And I feel like this does a lot for it. So here's just a second to look at it. We're going to go in on the top now. This is not a very difficult look to pull off, and it's best for like when you're trying to scare someone or for Halloween. If you're going to do this for to, for scare friends, make sure you're very close with those friends and they know it's a joke. Because if they don't, it could end kind of badly. Alright, so now I like the way it looks, we're going to go to the next step. Which is take a black eyeliner or a navy blue, 
This one is actually black. So we're going to go in with the black and draw out very faint lines in our lips. This is also part of the dyeing process where um, when the lips go blue, they also crack. So I've yet to decide if my character here is actually dead or if she's dying and there's still a chance for her. But I think she's going to be dead. And this step is very easy because you are drawing cracks in your skin and they're not perfect because every human body is different, biology is a thing, and so this also appears to be all the eyeliner I have left, so we're going to use it very sparingly. And <laughs> here's my impression of a Muppet. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just going to speed the process along here now. It's going to take a couple minutes for me to get this done right. And because of who I am as a person, previously I dropped the mascara, so now I got it back. We're using Maybelline's Colossal Chaotix in the black color. And as I mentioned previously in another video, um, I can't wear this mascara as such because it makes my eyelashes fall out and my eyelids kind of sting. So I'm going to apply it underneath the lashes kind of as a um, eyeliner. And then we're going to draw that line downward to create mascara tears because any sensible person being strangled when the rope is on you, you're going to cry a little bit when you're dying. At least I know I would. <laughs> so this step is also very easy because you're just creating tears and they're kind of a free range, free roam thing. They're going to go where they want to go. So as long as you get the idea right that like your tears are going downward, you got it. It's not hard. This part's not difficult. This whole look is actually very easy and very fun to do, so if you're gonna do it, have fun with it. And now we're going in with the bruising, and this is a color pigment mess that I created using Vaseline, and I used a purple, a blue, a red, a yellow, and a green eyeshadow palette colors. So we're just going to draw the bruising at the base, the two lines of my neck. I have one on either side, they're all very small. Now, in all makeup tutorials, there's always one part that makes the whole look together, and this is it right here, because what's a strangulation without the bruising on the neck? And this is very fun to do as a costume piece or as a prank on your friends, but disclaimer, if you do this on your friends as a prank, make sure they know it's a prank or you're really close to them, because otherwise it could end pretty badly. And there's a fail. <laughs> Gotta cover that momentarily. And by the power of YouTube magic, it's gone. Now we're going to take our fingers, our natural given makeup brushes, and we're going to blend out the bruising to make it a little softer, a little more bruisy like And this step can take as long as you want it to. I tried to make it go really quick, but because I'm a perfectionist, even with unperfect looks, I'm going to take a long time to do this, so I'm going to sweep a little bit. <laughs> So now, we're going to take a LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. This is a very red color. There's no specific names for them or anything. It's a drugstore lip gloss. And we're not going to put it in our lips because with any strangulation and any rope, there's going to be frays, and those frays will most likely cut into the delicate skin of your neck. For some people, we have oddly strong skin there, so you may not have this issue. I personally don't, but... I mean, I have very strong skin there, so <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that I don't and draw in some scratches. You could do this with eyeliner if you want to make it more defined, but I think a little extra bloody is a little better for this look we're going for. So I'm going to sit there and let you guys see it for a bit. Now we're going to take our fingers, because obviously you'd be scratching yourself up a little bit trying to get the rope off of you. Once again, we are going to take our same poor man's fake blood and we're going to put it on our fingertips, fingernails. There is another makeup tutorial that shows you how to get actually cracked nails and broken nails. It's a really good tutorial. If I could find the link, I'd post it down below. So if I find it, you'll guys see it there. 
And so we're just going to fill it in all the fingers because I feel like, especially with me, I'd be trying to scratch away. I'd probably bust a few nails up doing it because my nails are really delicate. So now I'm going to draw in a few more lines on my neck like I was scratching at it to get the rope off of me. Looks pretty accurate to me. And this is a completed look. This is great for Halloween, costumes, or pranking your friends. But once again, if you're going to prank your friends, make sure you know those friends very well and they expect this kind of stuff from you because otherwise it can get pretty nasty. <laughs> Alright. That's all I have for today, so beware and be beautiful. Bye!